Okay. So yeah, it's a little cold out. This, the windows are frozen. The windows are frozen, man. Oh, I forgot my glasses again. Because this video camera blinds you. I gotta get a new video camera. Yesterday was payday, right? I can't see out the window. I gotta park somewhere and let this puppy heat up this car so it doors out. Look at the window. Crazy. But it's 1.40 a.m. in the morning. Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. Everybody I can't even see. Am I going to hit something? All right, I got to park somewhere, man. This ain't good. Just let the car heat up for a second. All right, yo. Happy Chinese New Year 2014. January 31st. Time's flying. The days are going by. So painfully fast. It's like zoom, 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 zoom. And you try to make the day mean something. You want to have a purpose. You want to have self-worth. You want to be of benefit to the planet that you live on, right? And then the days keep zooming by. And then you can't get your life together anyway. So you're screwed. You're basically living here to die. And then it's like it gets even worse. It's like you don't want to be attached to this life. So now it's this balancing game. Okay, now I'm looking forward to death. Which makes me feel better, more fearless, more calm. I'm looking forward. I want to look forward to it. I want to be so super excited about death. Seriously, how crazy that sounds. That's the way I want it to be. Maybe I could drive now. You know, you don't want people in their house, I'm so self-conscious, man. You don't want people in their house to see a car parked with some light on and it's like, who is this stranger in our neighborhood parked in front of my house? I'm so self-conscious, man. And then it's like, I'm gonna make a video, Happy Chinese New Year, because I, I get, I'm on to it. How to live to the fullest and live each day like it's your last. What you gotta do is go for an experience that you've never experienced. And if you keep doing, trying to do this every day, and you gotta be rich to do this, really. You can't, cause I gotta work tonight, Friday, at 10, so I'm gonna have to go to sleep. I don't have, and I don't have money to really go out right now. And, uh, go to a restaurant. I can't even see, man. I'm gonna end up hitting something. Yeah, that would be real funny for the person watching this. But not to me. Alright, I'm gonna find a place to park. Where the heck was I? What was I saying? Oh, to live to the fullest. I get really upset. I got upset, man, that I missed Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That I didn't get to partake in a warrior of God that changed the whole planet. Changed people's lives for the better. I mean, I was so disheveled, man. I had such a bad day. Let's see if I can get this stuff off now. Okay, I'm gonna park right without hitting something. Let's see if I can park right here for a second. Okay, so I can talk fast. All right, so I was upset that I missed Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now it's the Chinese New Year. I gotta work. Gotta wait, make the peanuts. I got 260 yesterday. Payday gave my mom 60 bucks. I ended up being such an impulsive Aries. I went from $200 to $40, and now I suggest you don't try this. I'm going to buy a six pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yes, that's how desperate in despair I am in life. I'm drinking these sissy drinks. This is like the third attempt. The first attempt, I drank three. The second attempt, I drank five. My body just doesn't like alcohol, doesn't break down. But you know what's going on? I'm trying to explain it here. This is what they call an addiction, replacing something for something else. We got Lent coming up March 5th. Today's January 31st. I got a month and five days to get myself together. For over a decade, I try to take part in Lent. What you gotta do for Lent for 40 days and 40 nights is just be completely obedient. 
and not sin at all for 40 days and 40 nights. It's not that complicated. I'm gonna kick my ass. I don't even know if I'm gonna live this long, man. I'm, I'm so close, I feel so close to death, man. It's ridiculous. And when I lay there, when I wake up in bed, gripping the cross, I turn some music on. I throw up some tea, four tea bags and a shot, then I drink it down, then I lay there in dread and I scrape myself out of the freaking bed, man. And now, you know what it is? I'll tell, I'm 100% honest wearing my heart on my sleeve because this human world is not, I refuse to tell any falsehood or lies, man. This short life, man, liberate yourself and be 100% honest with yourself. That's what this documentation has done. It's not that I was a liar before, it was that I was afraid to tell the truth. So you withhold stuff. It's personal, it's top secret, it's your life. It's the only thing, your spiritual life, your life is yours. And people will try to take it. We really are slaves. Because we're slaves, you want to know why it's a fact? Because any of our lives could be taken from us at any moment. These these multi-millionaires, multi-billionaires, Gavin, 10 mansions and 10 cruises, a thousand cars. They think no one could take that thing. That could be seized by the government. You could your whole life could be taken, man. You they could come right on your your Whoa, I almost just hit a car. Alright, I better stop. Filming. The light really does blind you on this camera. Alright, so the truth is, I'm going to buy this six pack, and I have four Mike's Hard Lemonades at home, so that comes out to ten. The truth is, I want to drink these sissy drinks, as I remember someone called me like 12 years ago when I bought like Zima. Because I don't really drink, because it just doesn't, my body doesn't break down alcohol properly, right? So like 12 years ago, I bought Zima to drink with some people, friends, family, whatever, right? And it was like, it, you know, you can't even buy beer, you're buying Zima. I'm a lightweight man, I feel buzzed off one. Yesterday, I felt buzzed off one of these freaking Mike's Hard Lemonades, 5% alcohol. I literally felt buzzed off one. And it took me over four hours to drink five. But the truth, I know I keep holding back, the truth is, I want to drink this because it'll get my mind off of life to forget about this freaking world. And then I just listen to music and pray so intensely. Give me redemption! I want redemption! I've been hopeless for too long, man. You could even go as far enough to say, my, as a child, my childhood, I was hopeless. I was just done. Age five, hands sweating, hyperhidrosis. With your hands, underarms, and feet sweat profusely for your whole freaking life. It actually is less now than ever. I'm more. I have less fear. I don't. I'm not sweating right now. I'm out in the cold. I wasn't sweating at home. I do things. I work. I haven't had a day where my hyperhidrosis bothered me at my job. Two days a week. All right. Now I gotta shut this off because if a cop sees me filming, man. They could really, so, I'm going to take you into my room in a little while because it's a mess. Bring a broom because it's a mess. All right, peace.